Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your monthly general reading for March 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Now I'm using the Wisdom of the Avalon Oracle. I'm also using the Angel Answers Oracle, and I will be using the Gateway to the Divine Tarot for your monthly general messages. All right, Capricorn, let's see what energies we have for you in March. And we are ready. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, we have the Merlin, Alchemy, Justice, and Balance. All right. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. All right, angels, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Thank you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirits. We are ready. Oh, <laughs> speaking of we are ready, you're ready, Capricorn. Love it. All right. Yes. Thank you. All right, spirit, Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. What does Capricorn need to know? March 2020. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit. What does Capricorn need to know? Thank you. We are ready. All right. Situation. We have the Page of Swords. In your foundation, we have the Eight of Coins. Recent past energy, we have the Emperor. Crowning you is the Five of Cups. Your new circumstance is the Five of Coins. In the position of what you need to know, you have the Six of Cups. In your environment, you have the Tower. Advice from spirit is death. Your outcome energy is ten of cups. All right, Capricorn. Very interesting here. Give me just a moment. So, Capricorn, we have two fives here. The number 55. I always tell you to go and Google the, the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. You know, Capricorn, what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling right here, something has taken place, okay? And it was very challenging, very difficult for you. Um, this could have been a situation involving your family, especially with the tower in your environment. There could have been a big shake-up. Uh, it could have been a breakup from a significant other, a divorce. Okay? Uh, but there's a need for a rebirth here. And there's a promise that once you choose to see that there's still opportunities available to you here, there's a promise of this happiness to come. Okay? A, a, a promise of your cup runneth over here. I feel this is why the Merlin came up here. Alchemy, justice, and balance. I feel for many of you, you are going to be deep diving in the month of March. This could be the dark night of the soul type of energy as well. Some of you could be coming out of the dark night of the soul. Okay? For others of you, I definitely get a sense here that there's going to be justice and clarity that comes into this situation, what you're dealing with. There could have been something stolen from you, possibly. I do see justice coming in here. Someone could have wronged you, and the scales are going to be balanced. Now, another thing that I'm getting from this, you're going to be going within, okay? You're going to be gaining spiritual enlightenment here to figure out which direction or which door or which path to walk down, okay? And Spirit says, you're ready. Your angels say, you're ready. 
you're ready to move forward, you're ready to see the opportunities that are still available here uh, to you, Capricorn. Okay? Now, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy coming through right here. You know, the Page of Swords is that energy of gaining knowledge, doing some research, um, making sure that you're not overlooking anything, especially if you're dealing with a contract. Now, if this is dealing with someone else, what this tower is, uh, you know, uh, people arguing, make sure that you have all the information about the whole situation. Make sure that you just don't have one side of the story. That's coming through very clearly as well. Now, you, and, and you know another thing, the Page of Swords is all about using logic and reason with your intuition. And being able to use that power with intent to be able to move forward, okay? And, you know, break free and release anything that, or anyone that's no longer serving you, Capricorn. Now, you have the Eight of Coins coming up here in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you. This is a beautiful energy. Many of you are highly skilled at what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a point of mastery right here. Now, some of you may literally be getting your master's degree. You may be hiring your education. You may be taking some classes to be able to move up within a job or career that you already have that's really going to allow for you to bring in more financial uh, abundance, you know, more stability and security here. And, you know, if this is you, you're ready, you're ready to move forward, you're ready to go after maybe that dream job. Some of you, this is talking about you're ready to start your own business right here. And, you know, Spirit says, this is an eight Capricorn, you know, what you are investing in here, okay, what you're skilled at, this will bring about long-term financial gain. Now, some of you are on your spiritual path, spiritual journey here, and you are at that mastery stage, and you're starting a new path, okay? And you're, you know, I'm definitely getting a sense here, you're having a huge breakthrough that's allowing for you to start a new spiritual journey here in some new direction. Now, you have the Emperor coming up here. This is the energy of Aries in your recent past. And you're still feeling this energy because it's showing up in your reading. Now, this talks about you having authority. Some of you are taking back power and control over your circumstances, your situation. This is, might be what caused this tower moment in your environment. Something was maybe going on in your environment and you'd had enough. And you put your foot down and you stood in your power, you stood in your truth right here. You let this tower fall because this is what you're creating. This is what you're building right here. Something that is uh, built to last, okay? And you, may, you know, you may have to have let go of people that are no longer serving you. This could have even been roommates. But I do feel this could have been a divorce, a partnership. Um, this could have been a family matter as well. Now, I really feel for some of you, you are building up a business. You're, you've got a money-making idea here. Spirit is saying, you know, start laying this solid, unshakable foundation right here. You know, bring those ideas to life. Give them life, Capricorn. You're ready. You know, oftentimes the emperor can represent, like I said, with the eight of coins down here. Some of you are stepping up. And stepping into a new leadership role with a job or company that you already have. And it's really going to allow for you to make more money. This five of cups is in your crowning position. This has already happened because this is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. You've had some loss. You've had some disappointments here. And, you know, I, I really feel like, you know, you're turning this whole situation around. You're choosing to see these two cups, you see she's holding them. She hasn't forgotten about what has been lost here. But she's picked these two cups up. And she's going to be able to move forward. 
I feel right here you're doing spiritual alchemy. You're taking a, a negative, a challenging, difficult situation and you're transmuting it into something that's going to be positive. You are definitely in that energy of being the alchemist and making a desired outcome here, a desired change. Now, your new circumstance or new opportunity is the five of coins. Oftentimes, this is a, a feeling of rejection, okay? Maybe a feeling of lack. This could be a financial setback. This can represent overspending as well. For some of you, there's a need to get a control, you know, over your money. And what's interesting is the five of coins is mirroring this emperor. So what you're building here, you may need to make sure that you're not overspending, okay? Because you're building something, all right? You're creating something. So you really need to pay attention to your finances. Now, I am getting an energy for some of you. Uh, you're coming out of this feeling of lack, okay? This is going to be an opportunity for you. You've taken these two cups. You've seen the opportunities that are still available. And here you are coming out of this energy. Now you have the six of cups coming up here in the position of what you need to know. You know, the six of cups, I definitely feel like this is that energy where you felt you had a soul connection to someone. Okay, and they done you dirty. And that's what's caused this tower moment in the environment. I feel like you've realized that this person was wearing a false mask. Okay. And, you know, like I said, I feel like you have broken free from that energy or that person. Um, another thing that I am getting from this, for those of you that are starting a business, uh, I do see a, a business partner or somebody that's going to back you. I feel like when you cross paths with them, you may have already. You're going to feel like you've known them your whole life. And this person, you were meant to you were meant to cross paths with them because, you know, they are going to back you and there's someone that you can trust, okay? And spirit wants you to make sure that you are open to receiving, okay? Uh, these gifts because this is a blessing this is coming straight from spirit whether it's a person that's going to back you financially with a money-making idea or you have literal blessings coming in here oftentimes the six of cups can represent that you have blessings waiting on you capricorn you want to make sure that you're open to receiving them there's a need for some of you to be a bit playful as well uh, there's a need to believe have that childlike faith okay with what you're creating especially when we're talking about you creating a business right here believe in yourself you believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing 100 percent wholeheartedly you're going to create it doors are going to start opening up for you now we have the tower in your uh, environment okay this is breaking down bad habits. Some of you are purging your feelings. Some of you are going through an emotional breakthrough. Some of you are coming out of that dark night of the soul. Some of you are in it. Some of you are letting this tower fall within a relationship with someone in your environment. You're releasing them. You're letting them go so you can start to rebuild. You're ready to rebuild right here. Because your advice from spirit is death. This is the energy of Scorpio. This is you releasing, letting go of anything that's no longer serving you. It's that energy of out with the old, in with the new. This allows you to go through a major transformation and transition into a new beginning. This is you, like the phoenix, rising from the ashes. Now, your outcome energy is the Ten of Cups. There's a lot of major energies here. There's some challenges and difficulties, but Spirit wants you to know. You will persevere. You will make it through this. You know, this could be a situation where there's it's time for old, old unrealistic ideas that need to be released. That's, that's what this tower could be, okay? It could be many different things to each of you. But Spirit wants you to know your cup will be refilled. It will be overflowing here. 
There's a promise of more good times ahead. There's a promise of abundance coming your way. And Spirit says you're ready. Whatever you're tackling here, whatever you're going through right here, you're ready to break free from it and go after your happiness. Remember, you are the alchemist of your life. You are the co-creator of your reality. All right, Capricorn. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment and let me know what this, what this tower is in your life. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Capricorn.